Hi everyone, it's Ashley Rita and it's Sensi Consultant. Welcome back to my channel. I have Corey here with me and we're gonna smell first impressions of the Bring Back My Bars. I feel like you've actually probably smelled some of these because there's a lot of returning ones that I've actually smelled since I've been a consultant. So I'm very excited to see what Corey's impressions are as he knocks the file down. <laughs> yes. um, business stuff out of the way first. Bring Back My Bars are available on June 1st for everybody while supplies last. Don't forget to bundle and save, most June important. June 1st, yes. Yeah, June 1st, it'll be a big like changeover. But they should be available like almost all month. I feel like they shouldn't run out. They're, they haven't been running out as frequently. You can always add them to your club to get them forever, of course. So we're gonna give you our first impressions. Do Corey's gonna sip them first. Do you get them all? You, ca you can buy them all. I don't know if there'll be a bundle to buy them all. Really? I don't think so. If you go to the website right now under the collections tab, you can actually see them all with their price and their send notes and everything. So, Ooh. but I, there's no like buy them all, but like bundle on there currently. Got it. To my knowledge. There is one license bar that came back. So the pricing is kind of funny because that one you can't bundle. Oh. It's that one. But yeah, it was yeah. this one. Mm hmm. So love because love and kisses mini. Yes, love and kisses mini. Hmm. I've heard it's a good one. I'll try it. So this one is the licensed price, six fifty. Love and kisses mini. Just what? diving into it. Yeah, let's dive into it. We don't. We're not going in any particular order. Eh, it's all right. Is it girly? Yeah, it's flowery. Flowery. Smells like banana peel. What? I gotta zoom in on the notes. It's kind of what it smells like. It says it's bursting with bright red berries, fresh apricot, and creamy vanilla. Maybe that's the creamy vanilla I'm getting. It kind of smells like a banana peel. I feel like bottom. this. It kind. It kind of does. Yeah. Apricot maybe, because it says that. Like I don't know that I would pick that out. Yeah. I'm and I feel like I remember. I like the color of it. Yeah, the color makes sense. This, so, totally mini is out now. This was the mini, like, Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse scent. This was mini before totally mini. Hmm. It's not bad. I'm curious to melt it. It's kind of, like, lighter. Okay. Corey's already got his next one picked out. Rustic Lodge. Color this makes sense. This one could either be a love for you or a, a big no. He's going for the bottom right away, folks. Mm. It's all like manly. There's smells. spice in there. There's pine. Ooh. It's not anything I'd be interested in though. Like it, it, it's okay, but then that second and third is just like ooh. Ooh. Okay, it's Rustic Lodge. Yeah. Packaging is cute. It's all right. Ooh. It's cedar, oak, musk, wood smoke. Oh, so okay. It literally smells like. Christmas at the cabin or something <laughs> like that's what it reminds me of. Lord. Do you think so? I guess. It's heavy. It's just, it's, yeah, heavy is the correct terminology for that. It's definitely not something you'd use right now. This is like winter. Yeah. Deep winter. Ah, wood smoke for sure. It's like kind of smoky. You'd want that to be in like, a, I was just thinking in like ours, like an open concept for sure because it's, it's powerful. Yeah. It's powerful and cold at least. Yeah. I don't know where to set these. Do you want to keep, start keeping piles or what do sure. you want to? It's not good. That was in the uh, no pile. Churro churro. I'm so excited This is kind of for funny. Because there's I love a certain churros. grocery store we were at this weekend. Oh. And they had like a house brand, like those little churro twists. But like like Taco get, Bell. Like Taco Bell. They were really good in a bag. Except they weren't warm. That was the only thing. I wonder if you could warm them up nope. in the oven. That's trash. Do you want to read the notes Oops, while sorry. I smell it? Uh, yeah, baked pastry sprinkled with cinnamon sugar captures the heavenly churro charm. It's not good. There's nothing Ooh. there that's like attractive. It smells like butter and. Yeah, there's like nothing there. I'm excited to melt this one and see what it smells like. More. There's no, it doesn't smell like anything. It's, like, <laughs> it's trash. <laughs> like at least the rustic lodge like slapped me in the face when I smelled it like. That I'm just like, did I get any? And then I was like, okay, no. Nope. <laughs> churro, churro. 
chill. Do churros really smell like anything, though? Yeah. Cinnamon sugar. No, churros smell like the... Fried... They funnel smell. cakes at the fair. What funnel cakes smell like? With oil. <laughs> like oil. Like cholesterol. fried. <laughs> Diabetes. The... I like this one. The cinnamon sugar smell is what I get. I feel like this is gonna have Not more that, cinnamon. But that's <laughs> what I like about the, the, like the, that's what I think of when a churro. Have know. you eaten a churro ever? Yeah, they, <laughs> they have them at um, Taco John's. I know, yeah. I love churros. That's what I'm saying, they come out and they smell like super fried, super awful for your body. I think we have to see how that one is on more me. Mm, yeah. <laughs> not convinced. Oh, this is the one you were happy about. I'm happy birthday. So excited. This one's kind of cool birthday. because you can see like in the background, it's got like the actual balloons. That's cool. Yeah. And I like the, the color kind of matches this, I would say. I'm really excited for happy birthday. I mean, I think birthday cake, like, no? I'm so disappointed. It, it could have been so much more. What did you want it to smell like? It's flat. Define flat. It doesn't smell like cake. It doesn't smell like a birthday party. It just smells like flat. I feel like some people say that sometimes they get chocolate and sometimes they get vanilla and sometimes they get a blend. And yeah. I totally get that. Because I do feel like yeah. on the top, it's almost chocolatey. I'm sorry this wasn't richer for yeah, you. No. He's absolute. I hope we get to some bars too. Well, I was just. I, I, don't, I was just hoping it was going to be something more. Yeah. No, it wasn't good. I think this one needs to warm up for sure. Maybe that's what it is. I just don't I think feel it's like be it's. That great. Oh, I got some on my hands. Not good. Not good. So you want that one. Okay. I like this that. one I am excited for Beach. I've heard good things about this one. This too. one, I like it because it looks like sand. So the color matches. Kind of smells like that you get kind of that soak and raise. Oh, like suntan lotion a little bit? I'm reading the notes. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the fence. Papaya and honeydew sweetened with a hint of coconut. It reading these and hearing you say soak and raise was not adding up, but it smells a lot more like soak and raise than papaya, honeydew, and coconut. Yeah. It really does smell similar to soak and raise. I had way higher expectations for this one. I have to be honest. Yep. I thought it was gonna be more I thought it was gonna be like fruity coconut. Correct. Like honeydew and papaya. I feel like I'm getting do you say sand? Or you it, said it, it looks, looks like, like sand? sand? And it kind of, it's just like blah. It's giving me like a coconut and a sandalwood or something like that. Yeah, there's not. Or like that. coconut, like the outside of it. I don't know if these are just like. Wow, that was cold. really sad. I mean, they're probably not cold. But like they've been in the box all together, which probably I should have maybe let them sit for a little while longer. Okay, this looks We're fantastic. too excited. <laughs> White out. And this looks cool. And I like the whiteout because it reminds me of. I feel like you of... could like this one. The gridiron rush color. It smells like an orbit. It smells like orbit gum. Does orbit have a peppermint apple gum? Oh, it's app. I don't know if this a peppermint apple winter pine. This literally smells like orbit peppermint gum. I like that one. I don't know if I've ever ate orbit gum. It does smell like that now yeah. that you say I don't know if you've ever chewed it. That's what it smells like. Wow, it's very pepperminty. <laughs> That's no joke. That's interesting. It's classic. I feel like... That's a good one. You're a fan? Yeah. Wow, that's like clear your nose out if you have a cold. Exhilarating blast of cool peppermint and a sweet golden apple blanketed over frosty white pine. I don't even know that I feel like there's apple. It just literally smells like peppermint. Yeah. Like, the top smells like the gum. It does. Like, dead on. Yep. That's not what I was expecting. I thought it was a peppermint, because when I was unpackaging them out of the box, I got a whiff of peppermint, and I was like, it's gotta be that one. That's good. 
Huh. Wow. Okay. First W for you. Yeah, that's very good. <laughs> um, all right. Watermelon patch. Now this one I hope does not disappoint me. The color is a little bit off, I would say. Not very authentic water. Watermelon's kind of more red actually though. Cause what's the one it's like the the actual watermelon bar is like watermelon mint is like green and then it's a red bar. Yeah, that one's cool. Like that one looks cool. Mm -hmm. This I don't know why they did pink, but that's good. You like it? Yeah, that's that's good. The only note is watermelon. That's really good on the bottom too. Oh, really? It smells I like a watermelon airhead. Yeah, it's definitely like, or like, did you ever have those erasers that smelled? I'm sorry? <laughs> they were erasers, but they smelled. They had scents. Like burned rubber? No, like watermelon and blue raspberry. I, I, I like didn't know that was a thing. Like when you were They're in like the elementary school. They're like scented erasers? Yeah, like, you know, you would, it wasn't like a pencil topper. It was like a square one. Yeah. And they were scented. Mm. It smells like one of those. Yeah, I didn't know that. This is, I don't remember liking this as much as I do right now. I'm pretty sure I've had this before. Not bad. Yeah. Do I like it more than watermelon mint? I don't know. Yeah. That's the question. That's an interesting one. Let's see. Where do we go from here? The pile's getting smaller. I don't know. Vanilla suede. Vanilla suede. I feel like you're not going to like this one. <laughs> the oh, I thought the top broke. Ooh. Vanilla, amber, sandalwood, and spice. This one smells extra strong. I don't remember this one being this strong. <laughs> You're gonna have to smell your watermelon. <laughs> that was trash. This is like very leathery almost. Oh. Like it kind of gives me leather. This one's really strong. How come some of these other ones aren't yeah, as strong as this I one? thought it was gonna be like, that's what I was thinking, a little like dull. Like vanilla, like, like you really gotta get a good creamy, deep sniff. And I was like, <laughs> and it was horrendous. Um, it, this smells like that weathered leather. It kind of does, actually. Yeah. I was getting, I wasn't sure if it was this one or vanilla oak. Oh, vanilla oud. Vanilla oud and vanilla suede came back at the same time. And one of them I was like, really did like, but then I ended up taking out my glove. It wasn't the other one. It was vanilla oud. Yeah, not, not good. Yeah, I was, I was hopeful it was that one, but hmm. it, it is not. Ooh, this looks Bold. good. Bold move. Southern sweet tea. I don't know what to think about yeah. this one. Like I like the color, but I wish it was a little more like clear. Or yellow. Yeah. Oh, but tea. Part of me is like, what is this gonna Yo. smell like? Maybe they did it. Maybe they actually did it. A so, lot of people like this. Okay, so you know, like with tea, that's why you put the lemonade in there sometimes because it gives it a little. Like it's like how would you little describe little tea? Like tart. No, not the tea's not tart. The lemonade is. The tea is. is sweet. The tea is just sweet and just kind of like bland. Where that's what this is. You just get a little bit of sweetness, but it's mainly bland. I like that okay. a lot. Okay, the notes are heirloom peach, orange juice, and white tea. Yeah, that's. It's very good. The bottom is definitely bland. Like yeah. doesn't hardly smell like anything. The bottom must be the tea. The top smells like the peach and the orange juice. I'm curious to see how that all blends together. I think it's going to be Also, good. though, I feel like this bar is way lighter than some of those other ones. Correct. I don't know. This is a weird batch. This is an interesting batch. Yeah, this is a really That one's not bad, though. I was really expecting that one to be, like, spicy or something. I don't know why. <laughs> what is this? Oh, no. Hemingway? I feel like this one could be, like, don't take a deep breath. I feel like this one could be maybe not up your alley. <laughs> I, I, what, what does Hemingway mean? I don't even know what a color would back into that. I don't know. Nope. I told you to be careful. It's fine. It's spicy. Is it? I just don't like it. Oh, it's kind of nice. It's very Christmassy. Yeah, it was too dark. Ripe apple, sandalwood, cedar, and spice. Just take away it's... the spice and it would have been good. That spice is super strong. Oh, you'd hate the bottom. 
Yeah, I, I, I can smell it from here. It smells like a craft store. Yeah. Mm, interesting, okay. That one's like definitely fall to me. Yeah. Or winter, probably winter. Interesting batch of some of these that are kind of more fallish, mm. like not the, like painted leaves is coming up. That one's more fall. White sands. I like that because it's not like a true like white. It's kind of like a nice cream. Cream. I have high hopes for this one. Yeah. Yeah. That one's good. It does uh, jasmine, coconut milk, and rice. It smells like um, like when you get like poison ivy, and then you have to take, <laughs> you have to take like that oatmeal bath. You never got into that? <laughs> oh, I was a menace when I was a kid. <laughs> Catherine is. <laughs> I just... I've never taken a poison ivy oatmeal bath. <laughs> Isn't that what it is? I think it's an oatmeal bath. Is it? I don't know. What's the stuff I have upstairs that's like pink that you put on your poison ivy? Oh, it's in... I don't know what that uh, is. Ah, it's in that. Yeah, I can it's see it. It's in the pink bottle. <laughs> Something... I don't know what it's called. Dang. This is interesting. It's floral. The coconut milk is not very coconutty. I don't know if the fact that it says rice is throwing me off. Yeah, it's the coconut, or the coconut bath. <laughs> it's the oatmeal bath that helps soothe inflammation. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Interesting. Also, this one is stronger than some of the other ones. Yeah. Just want to point that out, because I like feel like that's important. It's like when the bottom of it, it gets more. That, not bad. Not as yeah. good as I was thinking, I was hoping for more coconut. You're a, lot, a loss for these next set. I just don't. There's not a lot of, like... Nothing grabbing um, your attention? No. Harbor's Edge. I like this. Harbor's Edge, this kind of reminds me of this color of, like, maybe, like, a cool, damp morning on, like, the East Coast. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. This could be a winner. <laughs> the face doesn't look like it's a that winner. That is interesting. A lot of weird notes in this no. one. No. Oh, that bottom is awful. <laughs> you want to read the notes? Beach grass, flowering raspberry, and north oak fern sway amid crashing waves, churning a surge of salty musk. There's just too much going on there. This is weird. I was thinking <laughs> boat on the sea. Yeah at the harbor's edge like when you get when you get like close to it you just get that kind of like salty yeah that was this is like it says beach grass and northern oak fern no nope. yeah to both of those like grass like dirt grass yeah that's strong ah, well, i had really uh a lot higher expectations for that one i'm not positive on that yeah. That was a lot more manly than I was expecting for some reason. Oh, you like this one. Ghostly greetings. I do like ghostly greetings. You've definitely smelled this one because I yeah. do like myself ghostly greetings. I'm not a fan of that one. It's so unique. It's so unique. Black plum, spiced berry, and a dash of bourbon. They're brewed in a cauldron and ready to beckon you in. Not good. He already knew that he didn't want it. <laughs> this one I'm very interested in. Cherry vanilla. I like the color. I don't know if I've smelled this before or if I'm thinking what other cherry mm. and vanillas did we have? Ooh, that's good. Have we had this before? I don't know. Cherry don't almond pie, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Interesting like set notes. A delightful swirl of candied cherry and sugared almonds folded into velvety white chocolate ice cream. That's where I was getting the chocolate. Yeah. That's why I, I had to take about three smells of that because it, I thought it would just it, be... Um, cherry and vanilla. <laughs> yeah. What is, is that the Dr. Pepper one? That's the cherry vanilla? Like cherry vanilla Coke. Maybe that's cherry vanilla Coke. Dr. Pepper is strawberries and cream. That's oh, what that one is. Yeah. That's that new one. Um, yeah. This is interesting. I actually don't mind this. I like it. The The chocolate, though, is, is throwing me off. The, 
I think cherry and almond can be so similar and so overpowering sometimes yeah. that the bottom is like questionable, but I feel like this one's gonna be very strong. Maybe if you're like super into cherry, it won't be as strong, but like for someone who doesn't like cherry, I feel like the scents you don't like are always overpowering. Correct. Or stronger, because you can like pick Sensitive them out and pinpoint them. them. Like, I don't like this. This isn't bad. Yeah. I am actually pleasantly surprised by that one. No, I like that one. Wow. This is See good. an un an unknown winner in the pile? Mm. We have the leftovers in the pile. Cashmere pear. I think I remember this one being bad. <laughs> I think I smelled this one and I was like, what happened? I even tried. But look at the oh. note. Slip into sensual white amber, Madagascar vanilla, silky pear, and warm red ginger. You get that? Yeah. A blend as smooth and luxurious as fine spun cashmere. It's not as bad as I was thinking with the face you made and reading ginger at the same time. But it's just weird. Like, it doesn't smell like Oof. Cozy Cardigan. Or, like, these are the things I'm expecting it to smell like. Something, like, warm and cozy. But it's like... I think this is the reason I don't like pear. This and honey pear cider are weird. That one all felt my nostrils pretty good. <laughs> that one did. I don't know. I, I thought this one was like... I think it's the ginger. I don't... But then I ginger get that pear if I and cut ginger too. And amber, probably not like the best. The ginger is too sharp in my opinion. I don't know. If you had the white amber, the vanilla, and the pear, and the pear. that would have brought that together the where the, is the ginger is like slapping the It face. definitely cuts through the scent, that's for sure. Sorry, I'm, I'm sniffling a lot. I just, I am really, that really opened me up. You have to smell the white out. Sweet pea and vanilla, I like this because like, I don't mm. know what a sweet pea is supposed to look like. I think it's green, isn't it? I, it's a pea, right? But this is like a This silky. is like... It's like a silky The color pea. of sweet pea at Bath and Body Works, though. Sweet pea is a huge scent. Like, growing up. Mm, it's okay. I think I've smelled this one before. It literally smells like sweet pea. Do you just remember any girls having this lotion from Bath and Body Works? I, they all did, I feel. It was super popular. It's all right. I, I can't say this is, like, my favorite, but also I wore a lot of sweet pea, so... Raspberry, sweet pea, and vanilla. Mm, nostalgic. Yeah, it's all right. Not my favorite. Nothing crazy, though. Not bad, though. Like, not awful. Um, fuzzy I'm blanket. really excited to see what this like one smells this one like. Because Gemma's got a blanket this color. It, yeah, it looks she like does. The Scentsy blanket? Yeah. Fitting. I also got the Scentsy blanket right here. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know what is with some of these. It just it's not up my alley. This There's a lot of weird bars in here. It, this kind of smells like stargazing on the bottom, but sweeter. Stargazing was trash in my opinion. <laughs> it was really bad. Hmm. This one's not as bad as your reaction made it feel. It's not good though. Lavender, sandalwood, <laughs> and honeysuckle. See, I would think that I would like that. Because I, I don't mind lavender. I like sandalwood. I don't know. Honeysuckle questionable? Yeah, I did not like that at all. I don't know. It's interesting. I don't know. Interesting. Okay. I, w I am intrigued by this one. My wish. Don't you know. You may have smelled this before. Color. We've definitely had this in a Bring Back My Bar. I, I was not overly a fan of it at the time, so I don't know. I wasn't like melting it all around the house, per se. I don't mind that one. Yeah. Really? Is there plum? No. Fig. Fig. Mar yeah, the marshmallow yeah. brings it together. Sweet violet. I don't know. I sweet. feel like I. Violet or flower? Yeah. I don't dislike it as much as I feel like I used to. I feel like when I first got it and bring back my bar, which would have been like 2020 maybe. Yeah. I was like, I hate fig, I hate violet, I don't like this. But it's bad. Yeah, it's all right. 
It kind of almost has a chocolatey vibe. Yeah. Almost. It, I mean, it's not something that I would like be like super intrigued about. Right. Not opposed to just melting at one time though. No. We're down to the bottom two. Okay, I'll go with painted leaves. I really like that color. I think that's a cool fall color. So. And look at the leaves are on the front. I knew it was gonna be spicy and I tried. Oh, that's You tough. really are like a fruity, the leaves. This one's been around like recently in clearance sales. Just like. It's very fall. So many spicy I don't feel like it's that spicy. I just, I, I can't don't feel get like over it's it. that spicy. <coughs> it's, I don't know, blue spruce, red maple, golden woods. It literally smells like fall, wet leaves. Yeah. Like, it, it's, it's kind of like, mm, I don't feel like, <laughs> like you're putting oil in a pan. It's like semi. It's not spicy. It's just hot. But like, that was the, the vibe you were making. <laughs> like the pan like sizzling. Hot. Like you put the steak in. Fajita. <laughs> That's what you were. Okay. <laughs> I don't think this one's spicy. I think it just smells like fall with a tree, so it's kind of like deep and heavy. It's not bad. It's not my favorite. It's not bad, though. It's also like 80 degrees. Which is tough for that to smell. Yeah. Okay, this is the last. This is the bottom of the barrel here. Plum <laughs> and white woods. This got the reject vote by default. No, no. And we, you actually like it. We messed that See, up. See, you picked it last and you actually like it. This one's kind of sweet, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we've had this one Pretty before. Good. This, my wish, sweet pea and vanilla. Yep. A lot of these were in the same bring back my bar category before. Oh, this is a lot nicer than I remember. Raspberry preserves, damson plum, vanilla orchid. That's actually really nice. I don't remember yep. it like being this one. sweet. Like I remember it being sweet, but I don't remember being like, wow, I'll get it. I'll get it again. Yeah. This one I was like, ah, whatever, I can live without it. Wow, okay. Do you want to round some of them up? Do you have enough favorites to pick some? I'm curious yeah. to see what you choose. I might have to have you grab me some. Yeah, which ones do you want? I'm taking churro churro and happy birthday for sure. Which one? Churro churro and happy birthday. There's churro churro. Okay, no. Happy birthday's too. Happy birthday's right there. Let's just do two. I think, oh, do you want to have an honorary mention? Yeah. I got one more. It might be the same as yours. Yeah. This one? Mm-hmm. Okay, we're set on Yeah, there. I think so. All right, which ones do you go with? Okay, I mean, I already said it. Churro, oh. churro, and happy birthday. I did Stop. watermelon patch and then whiteout. This is so oh, good. Oh, yeah, that is up your alley. I'm really excited for both of these, truly. Yeah, I really like this one. And then our honorary mention was cherry vanilla, which is shocking. One. Because... I would have never thought. But I I w you kind of like cherry, I feel like. Yeah. You like fruity smells. I'm not a cherry person, but it's pretty good. I got rid of maraschino sugar cookie in my club, and like this feels better. Yeah, yeah. It's, wow, it's lighter. It's yes, it's not so heavy. Yep. I never would have thought. I kind of. Whiteout's good. Let me smell that one again. It's very intense. This one, I literally out of the package could smell it. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Yeah, that's like nose clearing. Um, I feel like I like more and I'll melt more than just these that we picked out. But these are yeah. probably my top like. These are good right off like, the bat. I'm Some probably going to these... put these in my club. Probably this one if it's good. Yeah. Depending on you two, what you think of yours. Some of these if I'm like, I like it, maybe I'll just buy another bar. But I don't know off the bat if I'm like. I gotta have these mm -hmm. other ones in my club right away. No, you gotta melt them at least. Yeah. Cause there, there's some of them that do have potential. These ones though, I'm confident. Yeah, those. I'm these feeling are good, be good about these ones. Like, and you could bundle all these in a six pack. White sands is. White like sands, I feel like we gotta melt one, just to like make sure. 
the Plum and White Woods is one. These are extra honorary mentions. Um, I feel like that one could be good, but... Love and Kiss is mini. That one could be good. It's all right. I don't know. You gotta... Yeah. Yeah, they, I gotta a lot of them, them. They, they feel like the full scent is not coming out. Right. Those are these. Right. So. I agree. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That was eye-opening. I feel like uh, a lot of these that I had smelled before, I kind of feel differently. Yeah. Than I had in the past. Or but... like when you read it... It's okay, Harbor's Edge, like what? That was a completely different scent. Yeah. You too. This one? Beach, yeah. Beach, Beach I wouldn't have guessed that. That was I the guess, scent like, notes? more sweet. Papaya, honeydew, and coconut. Yeah. I feel like if we were to blend that and compare the two, like wouldn't even be close. No. Huh. Yeah, that was interesting. I'm I haven't it's watched any of those videos. Interesting, um, I feel like sometimes they limit it and they're Kyle. like only let you choose from current like spring summer. So like you don't get these fall ones in there. Yeah. I guess I get it. Like whatever people some don't melt seasonally sometimes, but it's also so weird to be like I'm going to melt ghostly greetings and it's June 1st yeah, it's and Labor it's Day 90. Or Memorial Day. Like it's it's also kind of It's weird. I don't know, it's just weird. Yeah. So Okay, good well, to we'll know. We'll melt them and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we'll investigate. Okay, thanks yeah. so much for watching and joining us. We'll see you guys next time. You have any oh, other last things? My question. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, here's the bundling at the bottom. Um. Well, in honor of Memorial Day coming up, what is your favorite activity to do on Memorial Day? There you go. I think that's nice. Yeah, and if you get time off, enjoy your time off. Mm -hmm. If not, thank you for what you do. Um, yeah, so let us know what your favorite activity is on Memorial Day weekend. Yes, and um, if you have smelled these, let us know what your favorite are. Yeah, let are, us know because... Or what you're most excited for if you haven't smelled them coming... Or um, to get when they come back. Yeah, I would love yeah. to know other thoughts on this because it's they're interesting. I feel like it's going to be a why. I can't wait to watch other people's videos because I'm really interested to see what people yeah, think about this. This is going to be an interesting... Yeah combination of all these so right i do feel like happy birthday is gonna be a top seller though because i feel like it just it is you're going for whiteout whiteout's gonna be hot <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of people that will like this okay yeah we'll see we'll see who sells more happy birthdays or well uh, correct just call the sensei home office man hey can we get a sales report oh i i mean myself i can buy a sales report oh well i want to know for like the whole company i want to know like Big, Sometimes they tell picture. you, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, thank you so yeah. much for watching. We're curious to see what you have to think. We'll see you next time. Yes, let okay. us know. Bye. Bye.